Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I'm back with another video, y'all. This wig cap has done wonders. I filmed probably like four videos in no time. Anyway, I'm showing you the inside of the wig. Of course, all the details will be listed down in the description box below. I did actually apply a elastic band just to kind of do this glueless method. If you guys have been watching me for at least about a week now, I've been doing nothing but glueless wigs just because I felt like I got out of the habit of doing it. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I tame these curls. I'm going to be using my Absorber Bariti Dip Dip <laughs> Deep Conditioner. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be using that just to tame these curls. I did previously co-wash the wig and brush all the curls out using my Azzy Moist Shampoo and then the Bariti, um, or I should say Absorber Conditioner as well. Um, if you will want a link to that, all the details will be listed down below. You guys asked me questions about like the Aussie Moist. Apparently you guys are not finding that. So I'll leave everything that was used in the description box below as well. In my water bottle, I literally just have some water. And I actually mix the water with about maybe two tablespoons of the conditioner. Um, I found it very interesting that you can just use a conditioner as a leave-in or, you know, like a deep conditioning treatment. When you mix it with water, it really spreads out that product. And you can see how kinky um, and textured the hair was. Like, it was extremely all over the place. And honestly, I wasn't really sure how this was going to turn out after I put the water on it. So it kind of made me nervous. But as you guys can see, that um, conditioner definitely got the hair in order immediately so you definitely just want to take a I guess note to that um the hair did look extremely moisturized it definitely got tamed really really easy it came really soft and the texture was not too bad it is like a deep curly or more so I guess just a standard curly texture the waves were a little bit deeper than what I was expecting it was more on like the wavy curly side so I definitely appreciated that but you see how fast those curls popped in like, and I use lukewarm water, but that conditioner is what's really holding everything together. Um, and this is going to prevent your hair from being, like, extremely crunchy. So when it comes to curly hair, you want to make sure some people use, like, mousse. Some people will use, like, those leave-in conditioners that leave your hair really sticky and dry. But I find that if you use a conditioner, you can use um, pretty much, I guess, any one if you want. But this is going to be one of my most recent favorites just because it makes the hair extremely soft and the hair was soft on its own so I want you guys just to kind of take note of that um, I did think about uh, completely straightening out this wig I don't really know how I feel about it but I will <laughs> let you know if that's something that I do I did pre pluck this it did already come with the knots actually bleached already and likely plucked but you guys know I like to take it a little step further just to really get my wigs like in order so I'm gonna be doing that glueless uh, how to you know lay your wig down method here just very briefly I'm kind of adding that into the video so just kind of styling up my baby hair taking some mousse and just applying that to the actual um yeah edges of the wig I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides and then I'll be back to kind of diffuse everything and uh, yeah <laughs> I'll be back So as you guys can see, the hair looks extremely smooth, silky, textured. The parting on this does go back extremely far. It's probably about five to six inches going backward. Just taking some of my mousse just to smooth everything down. Uh, the conditioner did most of the work for me, so I don't have really any flyaways. I didn't notice any, and the hair just kind of clumps together as normal. So I'm definitely loving the texture of this. I'm loving the softness of the curls, and with this uh, mousse, it's just going to set everything in place, and you do have the choice of allowing this to air dry but just for the sake of time and to kind of give you that finished style I definitely wanted to show you what it would look like completely styled out so if you want the baby hair you can do it if you don't don't the lace on this was extremely thin so it kind of just flips back and forth with no problem this is definitely going to be a great pair um, I'm going to say probably the mousse and the conditioner is going to be a great pair when it comes to laying down curly wavy um, or any type of like texture wig that you really just want to get the most out of without having to do too much you guys see how quickly um, I was able to do this I think after editing the video of course I'm gonna edit it down so it'll probably be less than like eight minutes or maybe ten we'll see 
But the total time that it took me to actually complete this look was about 20 minutes. So that was not very long at all. Literally 20 minutes to do a face. I'm out the door in an hour. Like, come on. <laughs> so I definitely think that's good timing. Now, some of y'all going to be like, girl, come on. Who got an hour to spend doing their hair and makeup? Guess what? The good thing is, once you actually diffuse this, you set the, uh, the style completely. If you want to allow it to air dry, that's going to totally be your choice. But letting it air dry on its own, you want to make sure that you do not, and I repeat, do not, do not, do not, do not, <laughs> touch the curls at all. You don't want to manipulate them because if you do, it will cause the hair to freeze. So that's why I'm kind of stretching out the hair, or using that diffuser just a little bit, and kind of just going from there. The other great thing about this is, of course, because that conditioner is really going to lock everything in and because this unit is so nicely constructed and those curls just kind of pop and do what they need to do, this glueless unit is actually going to be perfect because you can literally just slide it right off. Your curls are going to be intact and when you're ready to put it back on, you're good. You literally just pop that baby on and go, okay? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to finish diffusing both sides and then uh, we'll kind of just brush out these baby hairs and we'll be all set. But like I said, it really, really did not take very much time at all. I went ahead and actually just tried to hurry and blow dry my edges as well. I'm going to go ahead and cut this paper off. You guys can find this little foam wrap or you can actually just use a hair scarf. Totally up to you. But you can find the foam wrap in any beauty supply store you should be able to. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Walmart may have it too. I don't know if people shop at Walmart still, so, but there's that so yeah um and i'm just gonna take this um it looks like that double-sided kind of brush and comb situation um it actually comes with um no actually no where did i get this did i get this from the beauty plus store or did i get this from a wig company i'm not sure but anyway they're really cheap i found them on amazon a million and one times i have a bunch of them laying around the house i just find them to be really nice and convenient look at that baby hair so soft look at those curls nice luscious and that oil that is embedded inside of this product is amazing. The texture of this hair is amazing. Everything soft, light, bouncy. Boom, that lace literally melts into your skin. Do you see that? Whoa, all right, all right, sis. Bring it back. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you need help with applying your wig cap or, you know, just that, I guess, nude wig cap, definitely make sure to check out some of my previous videos. Definitely turn on your post notifications, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, share it, let a friend know about it, all that good stuff. I will see you guys next time. I love you. Stay pretty. Bye, baby.